Theoretically, both bottles are made from the same base material, from the PET. Welcome back to another material testing video which I need for my curiosity. This is Eastern PET filaments, so no PETG, that's glucose modified PET. With this, uh, the print temperatures are lowered, but also the mechanical properties and temperature resistance is lowered too. And also I already tested at least uh, 4 or 5 uh, PET CF filaments and with carbon fibers the printability is improved. But I'm curious, so what can we expect from the raw PET filament? I bought this filament myself on Patreon donations, but soon I will have a channel sponsor, the Polymaker, and also I will have a budget to buy any filament I want in the future if I want to test it. Few specifications from the website. Excellent printing performance. Now I'm not sure about this because the carbon fibers usually helps with the printability and I'm curious how much shrinking we have with the regular PET filament. High toughness, this means impact resistant material, which may be correct because every time we, I can see carbon fibers added to raw material, it became more brittle. So I believe that this is tougher material, but how much tougher, we will see soon. Chemical resistant and waterproof, and uh, yes, I'm familiar with this material already. I mean, we have those PET bottles. Rich color, translucent texture, and this may be definitely correct because uh, with carbon fibers, which are in black color, we are quite limited with the color choice. Let's see some suggested print settings. The nozzle temperature between 250 and 270 degrees Celsius, bed between 80 and 95, fan only 10%. I hope this will be enough for this raw material, and speed up to 260 mm per second, which is quite big speed, and uh, definitely this may be an advantage compared to the carbon fiber version. Let's see what's in the box. It arrives on this cardboard spool, nice vacuum packaging with some desiccant inside, and I can see quite different information on this sticker. Print temperature between 265 and 280 degrees Celsius, a fan between 40 and 70 percent, so quite different from what I can see on the website. And this one is in translucent grey color. The bag is not resealable. Nice shiny surface, and uh, let's see how brittle is the filament itself. I can bend it quite a lot. Now it is damaged, but it is not broken. The temperature tower starts from 280. This is the last element on 250 degrees Celsius. Bed adhesion check until it's hot. Definitely this is good. And when it cools down. It looks good almost on any temperature element, maybe just a few strings I can see on 280 degrees Celsius. And also the overhang is not so clean at this temperature, so probably I will print everything on 275 degrees Celsius. Print settings, I started from generic PA, 275 is the print temperature, 12 is the maximal flow, and the part cooling between 20 and 50%. And these are my regular test objects, which I'm using in this kind of videos. All test objects will be printed at once, this is now the second layer. And last few vertically printed test objects. I am reprinting most of the test objects, because this group will be annealed. PET can be annealed unlike PTG, but I'm expecting bigger improvement in the temperature resistance and maybe against the creeping. Other test objects are here just to see how much shrinking and warping I will have during this annealing process because uh, usually fibers helps against this, but here we don't have those fibers. The annealing will be in San Luis to filament dryer, 90 degrees Celsius, 2 hours. Annealing is finished and it will cool down together with the dryer. Let's check the objects. Looking good at first look. Interesting, I can see some warping, but in unusual direction. For example, these two objects are printed in this position, but the warping is not parallel to the layers, but perpendicular. In this position. The warping is not big, but it, it's there. Now, in some other conversation, a commenter mentioned that this is some kind of uh, modified pet and it cannot be annealed. I asked for more details or for the source, but I didn't got any additional replay. Anyway, the fact is that on Eastern website there is no information about annealing at all, but anyway, I will give it a try. Let's see if I can print it on open printer, so it is loaded into AMS Lite on Bamboo Lab A1. 
the start is good and uh, I'm using the texture PI sheet without any glue on it. I hope the 90 degrees Celsius will be enough. These are the test objects for the layer adhesion and the twist test horizontally and vertically printed. Printing was finished few seconds ago, but adhesion check until it's hot. And oh, it's good. I hope not too good. I will wait until the bed completely cools down. The bed cooled down. Let's see how removable is the object. Mm -hmm. Still quite hard, 90 degrees Celsius is too much. This printing I need mostly for the thumbnail image, but I want to test two more things. Is it waterproof? And also 80 degrees Celsius on the build surface. Let's see if I can remove it with one hand. <laughs> My battery died. But it was still hard to remove from the PI sheet, uh, maybe even 70 degrees Celsius would be enough. Theoretically I could uh, even drink from this, but I don't recommend this for the long term use because of the bad cleanability. Theoretically this is watertight material, but actually depends more from the design and the print settings. And because of that logo from the bottom, it has only two covering layers, which is not enough, so in this case the design is not waterproof. I reprinted the bottle with the flat bottom surfaces. And it is waterproof now. And it is watertight even after a few hours. But I already mentioned that this depends more from the design and printing settings and not from the filament. Just quickly to check the shrinking and I'm measuring above the elephant foot. 79.76. So there is some shrinking but not so big like with the ABS which will be 79.6 approximately. And now let's check the annealed version. Oh, huge. 77.61 instead of 80 millimeters. This should be even visible with the bare eyes. I didn't check. Wow. Well, definitely you don't want to anneal this material. And also it has some warping too. I'm starting with 10 side tests with horizontally printed objects. This is regular PET. And this is the annealed version. And now layer adhesion test with vertically printed objects, regular PET, annealed version, and printed on Bamboo Lab A1. I decided to compare this data to average PTG and I have 20 pieces in that summary table from my Patreon supporters. And we can see the tensile strength is very similar to the average PETG. Now annealing helped, but the difference is negligible. With the layer adhesion we can see some bigger difference compared to the average PETG. And it is good to see that printing on open printer on Babylab A1 didn't reduce much the layer adhesion compared to the enclosed printer. But definitely forget about annealing of this material, the difference is huge. And reason for this is the warping in two directions basically. In this direction, during this 10 side test, we have some bending too. And also warping in this direction makes some delamination, which will make it weaker. Shear test with horizontally and vertically printed test objects. Printed in horizontal position, it is slightly weaker compared to the average PETG. Printed vertically, it is a little bit better thanks to better layer adhesion. Twist test with horizontally and vertically printed test objects, and also I have uh, objects printed on Bebel Lab A1. This one is printed in horizontal position. 1 1.3, 1.5, 1.6, 1 1.7. Printed in vertical position. Oops. 0.8, 1.1. Printed in horizontal position, in both cases they are stronger compared to the average PETG, but printed vertically, the PETG was somewhere between these two. For some reason the version printed on A1 was uh, slightly weaker, but don't forget the accuracy of this torque meter is 0.1 Nm. Impact test with this half kilogram hammer and I'm starting with regular pet. Zero position. Zero point one. These are the edge positions of the hammer and we can see very similar toughness between these two materials, but actually they are very brittle even compared to the PETG. C-point bending test. Zero point one. 
with these loads which will be placed one by one and I will measure the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. Deformation under 2.5 kilograms, under 5 kilograms and under 10 kilograms. And no additional deformation, not even during this last minute. And visually there is no permanent deformation on these test objects. The annealing didn't really change this property, but compared to the average PETG, we can see less deformation even during this last minute under 10 kilograms. The crypt is deformation under the constant load and as you can see I have really a lot of tests in the progress and the load will be 1.25 kilograms. 16.12 16.27 I will measure them every day but in the video let's jump 5 days. This is the last fifth day, and interesting, these four materials have very similar deformation. 1778. 1786. Again, we can see that annealing didn't make any bigger changes. Now, compared to the average PTG, where I have recorded only first two values, we can see less deformation and also less creeping, at least on the first day, because only this I have recorded in that summary table. Temperature test in the oven, and I have several tests in the progress. These are those PET filaments, and this one is annealed. This is timeless video, and both test objects started to deform at very similar temperatures, and mostly from this I think this is some kind of modified PET. I stopped the experiment on 160 degrees Celsius, because I had that PC ABS in white color. And of course they are very soft on this temperature. And all results one more time without any additional comments. And the non-annealed version will be added to that summary table for my patent supporters. So overall this is quite good material, in most cases better than PTG. But definitely I don't recommend annealing of this material and actually this makes me think that that commenter was right that this is some kind of modified pet and it cannot be annealed. But to be honest I don't really mind uh, not annealing of these um, almost everyday usage uh, materials because uh, it is just a waste of energy and time. Of course I don't mind annealing of the test objects from nylon from some special projects but in this case uh, it's fine. Now don't forget that if you use this for some kind of food applications, like you want to store some uh, food in this bottle, uh, it is not really recommended for the longer usage. First of all, don't use brass nozzles, because they have some lead in them. And don't forget that the cleanability of the printed part is not so good. So maybe you can use it in a few days, maybe a week or two, but after that uh, I don't recommend using this for the food storage. And huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters, because their donations makes these kind of videos possible. And yes, now I have the budget from the Polymaker to buy any filament I want to test. And I was so excited with the opportunity that basically in one month I spent the budget plan for next four months. But anyway, I'm very happy with this opportunity. And if you have some other experience with this material, then write me down in the comment section a few lines. And thank you for watching this video and happy printing.